So now that you know how to make content and save that content as screens, we're going to take a look at the sharing icon here in the hub and how we make groups and share groups. So if I go ahead and click on this, we'll see all the groups that I've made as well as groups that I belong to that other people have invited me to. I like to think of a group as a folder basically that you would have in your computer and you're able to share that folder with either other colleagues or students. So to make a group, you simply just click this green plus icon here and you'll give it a name. You can give it a description, an avatar if you so choose, and then just click create group. And then you can start adding people into that group. So you can do this either by email or the person's name. I'm gonna go ahead and type in a colleague. And then I have the option to invite her. And from there, I can either make her an admin or not. If they are an admin, that usually means that they can have access to your content and still edit it. So if you're working with other colleagues or you have a TA, I suggest making them an admin. However, if you have lots of students in this group, do not make them an admin because you don't want them to have access to edit your content. So from there, we can just exit out. When people have joined your group, you will get notifications to let you know they're now in there. If I click on that group now as well, we can see I have one group member. And as I add things to that group, it will tell me how many screens might be there, lectures, recordings, quizzes, all of it. So if we wanna show how to add the content we've made to that group, we're gonna exit out and go to the Atlas. Using our filter tool, I want to look at screens, the screens I've made specifically, and we'll take a look at all the models and view content. So now in this library, we can see everything that I have created myself. And with every screen, you'll see three dots here that you can click on. And on the very left, you have a copy to icon, which you can click. And now we can see that group that I just created. So I'll go ahead, click it and copy to group. I can also copy more than one screen at once. If I click and hold, We'll now see I have the option to click multiple screens. When I'm done, just simply click copy to group, anatomy class. And now all of those will transfer over into the group or folder. I can also do this with videos. For instance, we have a lot of pre-made content here on the app. So if there is a video you were interested in sharing with students, again, you simply just go to the share icon, click on the group you want it to go to and share to group. As everything copies through to that group, you'll again get notifications as they are loaded in. If I go back then, I'm going to go to my Atlas. Going back here now to my library, along with copying to groups, I also have the option to create a deep link with my content. So if I wanted to take a deep link and put it, for instance, inside a PowerPoint, a PDF, Word document, have that shared with students, I can do that. It will simply copy to your clipboard when you click this option below and you can copy and paste it there. When you click that link, it will bring back up Complete Anatomy and take you straight to that screen that you chose. So we're gonna go ahead now and I'll just show you that if I scroll now to that group that I created before, the anatomy class, review content, all those screens I clicked before are now within that group. We also have the option to add people through assessment dashboard. So if I go back to my sharing icon here, you'll see this option to go to dashboard. And now we can see I'm in my curriculum manager dashboard for my account. I can click on my sharing icon at the top. And now you can see that all my groups are listed here that I've created. 
and I have the ability to go in and edit them as I so choose. So you'll see here I have anatomy class. I can view that group. I can see the people that I've added, go through, take them out if I need to delete them, make them admin still, as well as I can start adding people again through email or name here. However, if you have a big cohort of students that you want to add all at once, you have the ability to invite group members here and upload a CSV file into the system and that will generate invites through that file.